So, you've got this awesome, mind-blowing business idea bouncing around in your brain? Problem is, turning that dream into a money-making machine requires more than just passion and duct tape. Though a roll of duct tape can be handy. You need a plan, a financial roadmap that shows your dream actually has legs to stand on, and maybe even wings to fly? But hold on, don't let the word financial scare you off. We're ditching the boring spreadsheets and stuffy jargon. Here are 10 bite-sized ways to whip up some fun, friendly financial projections for your dream business. Welcome to Business Alchemy. Number one, craft a compelling vision and mission. Start by clearly defining your business's purpose and long-term goals. What problem are you solving? Who are you serving? Knowing your why guides your financial decisions. Imagine your business as a majestic ship sailing towards a distant horizon. To navigate towards that dream destination, you need a guiding star, a beacon that shines brightly even in the foggiest weather. This guiding star is your vision and mission. Think of your vision as the faraway island your ship sails towards. What does it look like? Is it a world where everyone has access to clean energy? A community where all children have the opportunity to learn and grow? A society where health and well-being are priorities for everyone? Paint a vivid picture of the impact you dream of making, the positive change you want to bring to the world. Now, your mission is the map that charts the course to that island. How will you reach your vision? What specific actions will your ship take? Are you building eco-friendly technologies? Creating educational programs for underserved communities? Developing innovative healthcare solutions? Define the core activities that will propel you towards your dream. Knowing your why, the problem you're solving, and the people you're serving is like having a compass on your map. It helps you make smart financial decisions, prioritize investments, and weather any storms that may arise. So, before you dive into spreadsheets and numbers, take a moment to chart your course with your vision and mission. This clarity will not only guide your financial decisions, but also inspire your team, attract passionate partners, and fuel your journey towards that amazing island on the horizon. Number two, research your market like a pro. Become an expert on your target audience and competition. Analyze market size, growth trends, pricing models, and competitor strengths and weaknesses. This data informs your revenue and cost estimates. Imagine opening a bakery in a town full of sweet shops. Before whipping up your first cake, wouldn't you want to peek into the other windows? See what treats people love, what prices entice them, and what gaps are left on the sweet tooth shelf. That's what researching your market is like. It's all about becoming a detective of deliciousness, or whatever your dream business might be. You gather clues about who your customers are, their deepest dessert desires, and what your fellow bakers are doing well or not so well. Here's the treasure you'll find. Target audience, are you making cupcakes for kitty birthday parties or elegant pastries for discerning adults? Knowing who you're baking for helps you choose the right frosting flavors. Market size, is the town craving more sugary goodness, or are everyone's bellies already full? Understanding the potential customer pool tells you how much batter to mix. Growth trends, are mini donuts the next big thing, or are macarons fading from fashion? Following industry trends guides you towards flavors that'll keep your oven humming. Pricing models, can you compete with the bakery offering three croissants for the price of two? Or should you focus on fancy fillings that command a premium? Knowing your competitors' prices helps you find your sweet spot. Strengths and weaknesses, does the local cookie queen reign supreme, or is her icing a bit bland? Identifying competitor strengths helps you avoid their pitfalls, while spotting weaknesses opens up delicious opportunities. All this detective work helps you bake up a business plan that's sweet to the core. With the right ingredients of market knowledge, you can attract the right customers, set the perfect price, and create a bakery that truly rises above the rest. Number three, choose a winning business model. Define how your business will generate revenue and deliver value. Common models include subscriptions, direct sales, freemium, or advertising. Align your model with your target audience and value proposition. Choosing a winning business model is like picking the perfect key for unlocking your dream business's treasure chest. 
It's about deciding how you'll not only open the door to revenue, but also sprinkle delight and satisfaction on your customers. Think of it like this. Subscriptions, imagine treating your customers to a VIP club, offering exclusive access to your product or service for a monthly fee. This model works well for businesses with recurring value, like fitness apps, streaming services, or software tools. Direct sales, picture yourself as a skilled shopkeeper, offering your product or service directly to customers, like a bakery selling freshly baked bread or a designer showcasing their latest collection. Perfect for tangible goods or unique services. Freemium, think of it as giving your customers a taste of the good life for free, with premium features available for those who want the full experience. This model works well for digital products or services with clear upgrade paths, like games or productivity apps. Advertising. Imagine building a bustling marketplace where you connect customers with businesses, earning revenue through banner ads or sponsored content. This model thrives on high traffic and engaged audiences like social media platforms or news websites, the key is to align your chosen model with your target audience and what makes your business special. Ask yourself, what value do you offer that people are willing to pay for? How accessible and convenient should your product or service be? What are your audience's spending habits and preferences? By understanding your customers and your strengths, you can unlock the winning business model that opens the door to a thriving and fulfilling venture. Remember, it's not just about making money. It's about building a relationship with your customers and making their lives better, one delightful transaction at a time. Number four, chart your course with key metrics. Identify key performance indicators, KPs, that measure your success. This could be sales, customer acquisition, user engagement, or retention. Track these metrics to gauge progress and adjust your plan as needed. Imagine you're setting sail on a thrilling adventure with your dream business at the helm. But instead of relying solely on the wind and waves, you have a trusty compass, your key performance indicators, KPs. These KPs are like lighthouses, guiding you towards success. They tell you if you're making headway, if you're on course, and if you need to adjust your sails. Think of sails as your main compass needle. It shows you how much treasure, revenue, you're gathering. Customer acquisition is like the wind in your sails, propelling you forward. User engagement is like the sparkle in your passenger's eyes, showing they're enjoying the journey. And retention is like a sturdy anchor, keeping your loyal crew on board. By regularly checking these key PS, you can see if your business is thriving, if you need to adjust your marketing strategy to attract more passengers, or if you need to improve your offering to keep them engaged. Number five, forecast revenue with realistic optimism. Estimate your sales based on market research, pricing strategy, and marketing efforts. Be realistic, but don't underestimate your potential. Different scenarios, optimistic, moderate, pessimistic, can prepare you for various outcomes. Imagine your revenue forecast as a treasure map. We want to find that golden chest, but we also need to avoid the pitfalls along the way. Here's how to approach it with realistic optimism. Gather the clues. Market research. This is like your compass pointing towards the general direction where the treasure lies. What's the size of the market? How much are people willing to pay for your product or service? Pricing strategy. Think of this as the key that unlocks the treasure chest. Choose a price that both covers your costs and attracts customers. Marketing efforts. These are your trusty boots and backpack, helping you navigate the terrain. How will you reach your target audience and convince them to buy? Plot your course. Optimistic scenario, imagine everything goes perfectly. You smash sales goals and find the biggest treasure ever. This gives you a best case estimate to celebrate. Moderate scenario, this is the middle ground, the path most traveled. It considers challenges and opportunities, giving you a realistic projection of what's likely to happen. Pessimistic scenario, nobody likes to think about it, but unexpected storms happen. Planning for a rougher path ensures you're prepared even if things get tough. Remember, be honest with yourself. Don't inflate numbers just to impress. Base your estimates on real data and careful consideration. Believe in your potential. You have something unique to offer. Don't be afraid to aim for ambitious goals, but balance them with realistic assumptions. 
Stay flexible, the map can change. Be ready to adjust your course as you learn and gather more information. With realistic optimism, your revenue forecast becomes a powerful tool, guiding your business toward success while keeping you grounded in reality. So, grab your map, gather your clues, and set sail for that treasure chest of prosperity. Number 6. Cost it out, from paper clips to payroll. Break down all your anticipated expenses, including fixed costs, rent, utilities, and variable costs, inventory, marketing, Use industry benchmarks and research to ensure accuracy. Imagine your business as a beautiful house you're building. Costing it out is like making a detailed shopping list for all the bricks, lumber, paint, and tools you'll need. It's the fun part where you get to envision all the cool stuff going in, but also the responsible part where you make sure you can afford it all. Here's the breakdown. Fixed costs. These are the predictable bills that show up every month like rent, electricity, and your fancy office coffee machine, because happy employees are productive employees. Think of them as the sturdy foundation bricks of your house. Variable costs. These are the expenses that depend on how much you're doing, like raw materials for your products, marketing campaigns to attract customers, or those extra boxes of paper clips when your team gets on a paper airplane folding spree. These are like the fun, colorful paint and quirky decorations that make your house unique. To make sure your list is accurate, you can do some research in your industry. Think of it like asking your neighbors what kind of paint they used or how much their landscaping cost. This helps you avoid nasty surprises like running out of bricks halfway through or realizing your dream marble staircase is way too expensive. So, costing it out is all about knowing exactly what you need to spend to make your business dreams a reality without breaking the bank in the process. It's like planning a fantastic party you want all the fun stuff, but you also want to make sure everyone has a good time without blowing the budget on confetti cannons. Remember, a well-planned shopping list means a smoother build, a happier you, and a thriving business that's the envy of the block. Number 7. Project your cash flow. Map out the timing of your incoming and outgoing cash. This helps identify potential funding needs, manage short-term liquidity, and avoid cash flow gaps. Imagine your finances like a river. Your income pours in like rushing waterfalls, while your expenses flow out like steady streams. Projecting your cash flow is like building a map of this river, highlighting the rapids, high spending periods, and calm pools, times of plenty. This map helps you see ahead. Identify funding needs. Are there stretches where the river runs dry? That's when you might need a financial dam like a loan or investment. Manage short-term liquidity. Knowing when the river slows down lets you prepare for those moments, like setting aside extra money for bills. Avoid cash flow gaps. No one likes getting stuck on a sandbar. Seeing dips in income helps you plan ahead and adjust spending to keep the river flowing smoothly. So, projecting your cash flow isn't just about numbers. It's about taking control of your financial journey. It's like having a trusty compass on your financial adventure, helping you navigate towards your financial goals with confidence. Number eight, embrace scenario planning. Consider different economic conditions, competitor actions, or unexpected events. How would your financial projections change in these scenarios? Prepare contingency plans to stay agile. Think of scenario planning as building a weatherproof fort for your business. We all know the future can be sunny one day and stormy the next, so instead of hoping for clear skies, let's prepare for anything. Picture this, you've built a beautiful financial forecast, all sunshine and rainbows. But what if a surprise hailstorm, like a competitor's new product, hits? Boom! Your numbers might get soaked. Scenario planning helps you build sturdy walls and a strong roof for your forecast. By considering different situations like a sudden economic downturn or a technological breakthrough, you can see how your financial picture might change. This doesn't mean predicting the future, it's about being ready for different possibilities. Think of it like a treasure map with multiple paths. Each scenario is a path, and you prepare supplies, contingency plans for each one. Maybe you stash extra savings for a rainy day or have alternative marketing strategies up your sleeve. The beauty is, the more prepared you are, the less stressful those unexpected winds and storms will feel. 
Embrace scenario planning, and your business will be like a cozy, weatherproof cabin, ready to weather any storm and thrive in any sunshine. Remember, a little planning goes a long way, and you can always adjust your sails as the business winds change. So, let's build that fort and set your dream business up for success, whatever the weather. Number 9. Use the right tools to simplify. Financial modeling software like Excel, Google Sheets, or dedicated business planning tools can streamline your projections and make them interactive and visually appealing. Imagine planning a magnificent party. You need a guest list, recipes, a budget, and maybe even a dance floor layout. Spreadsheets can be like juggling all those details on sticky notes. It works, but it gets messy. Financial modeling software is like hiring a party planner for your business projections. They take the complex stuff, like formulas and calculations, and handle it seamlessly. You're left with beautiful, interactive dashboards that tell the story of your business in colorful charts and graphs. Think of it like transforming a recipe in a dusty cookbook into a vibrant video tutorial. It's still the same cake, but now it's easier to understand, prettier to look at, and way more fun to bake, or in this case, project. So, whether you're a spreadsheet whiz or a complete finance newbie, there's a tool out there to make your projections shine. They'll save you time, reduce errors, and let you focus on what really matters, building your dream business. Number 10. Remember, it's a living document. Your financial plan is not set in stone. Regularly review and update it as your business evolves, market conditions change, and you learn new information. Imagine your financial plan as a trusty map for your business adventure. It shows you the path to your goals, with estimated distances and even some landmarks to keep you on track. But unlike a regular map, this one adapts with every step you take. Think of it this way. New discoveries, as you explore your business landscape, you might find hidden valleys of opportunity or unexpected detours. Your financial plan should be flexible enough to incorporate these discoveries, whether it's adjusting the path to reach a treasure chest of profit or finding a better route around a market storm. Changing weather, the economic climate can shift like the wind, blowing in new opportunities or bringing unexpected rain clouds. Your financial plan should be able to adjust its sails to catch the favorable winds and weather the storms, ensuring you stay afloat no matter what. Learning along the way, every experience, every customer, every success and bump in the road teaches you something. Your financial plan should be a learning companion, evolving with your newfound knowledge to chart a smarter, more informed course. Remember, your financial plan is a dynamic partner, not a rigid taskmaster. Embrace the updates, the revisions, the detours, they're all part of the exciting journey of building your dream business. So, keep your map close, adapt with every twist and turn, and watch your business flourish on a path paved with financial wisdom and flexibility. Bonus tip, seek professional guidance. Accountants, financial advisors, or experienced entrepreneurs can offer valuable insights and help you refine your financial plan. Imagine building your dream house, you wouldn't wing it, right? You'd consult an architect for the blueprints, a contractor for the build, and maybe even an interior designer for the finishing touches. Well, your financial plan is kind of like the blueprint for your dream business. And just like building a house, sometimes you need a little expert help. Think of professional guidance like having a team of financial superheroes on your side. Accountants can crunch the numbers and make sure your projections are rock solid. Financial advisors can steer you towards the right investments and insurance options. And experienced entrepreneurs? They've been in the trenches, faced the challenges, and know the secret shortcuts to financial success. These folks aren't there to replace you, but to empower you. They can offer fresh perspectives, catch blind spots you might miss, and help you refine your plan into a masterpiece. So don't be afraid to reach out. It's like adding an extra layer of polish to your dream business, making it shine even brighter. Remember, building a successful business is all about collaboration. And when it comes to your finances, having the right experts in your corner can make all the difference. So go forth, unleash your inner financial architect, and build that dream business with confidence. By following these steps and embracing continuous learning, you can create robust financial projections that guide your dream business towards success.
Remember, the numbers tell a story. Make sure it's a story of growth, stability, and ultimately, achieving your entrepreneurial dreams. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.